friends welcome to my channel I am Arpita Karva and in this video lecture I am going to talk about Noam Chomsky and his theory of universal grammar. Now Noam Chomsky was an American linguist and if you look at linguistics it's very much connected to the psychoanalytical school of criticism. Why so? Because psychoanalytical school of criticism deals with the psyche. Psyche means the mind. And language acquisition is one of the most important thing or one of the most important function of mind. So psychoanalytical critics, they are quite eager to know how we learn language, how we acquire language and how we use it in our day to day life. If you look at psychoanalytical criticism before Noam Chomsky, you'll find that most of the psychoanalytics, they were quite eager to know whether the person when he's born, he's born with a clean slate. That means he has no uh, knowledge of rules of grammar or is he born with some basic knowledge of language and grammar. Noam Chomsky was the first person to say that human brain is pre-wired with some basic rules of language. He says that when a child is born, he's born in this world with a basic set of language skills. That means he's not a clean slate. His mind is not empty. He already has a language acquisition device, LAD, there in his brain, due to which he's able to learn language so quickly. So before Noam Chomsky, a lot of psychoanalytical thinkers, they believed that how a child learns, a child learns by observing and then imitating parents and other people around him. But Noam Chomsky was the first person who said that no, the child already has some basic rules of grammar there in his mind. And what he does is that he picks up the vocabulary and learns the language easily. There are three important things that you must know when it comes to Noam Chomsky's theory of universal grammar. The first point is that Noam Chomsky says that every child who takes birth on this earth, he already knows basic grammatical rules. When he interacts with his parents, with elders, he's actually learning vocabulary. But grammar, he already knows. Okay, so this is the first thing. Second thing, Noam Chomsky says that if you look at languages across different cultures, you'll find that all languages, they have the same basic structure. For example, if you look at French, German, English, Hindi, Marathi, all these languages are going to have certain nouns, certain verbs, certain adjectives. So the categories would remain same. The structure, the subject verb agreement in every language is going to stay the same. There can be different words. For example, in Hindi, we say karta. In English, we say noun or we say subject. Then if you look at Hindi, then you will say kriya, that is verb in English. So the word can differ, but the concept remains the same. So basic grammatical structures are same across all languages. And the third key component of universal grammar theory is that children will not commit basic errors. The errors that you expect them to commit, they never commit those errors, which proves that they have certain rules prefixed in their mind. For example, I've seen my brother growing up. We have an age difference of about eight years. So I still remember when he started learning language. He used to speak frame basic sentences without making expected errors. For example, he would always say, Mujhe paani chahiye. He would not say, paani chahiye. Or he would never say, paani mujhe. No. Why these words were not spoken by him? Because according to Noam Chomsky, there is some prefixed grammatical rules which a child is born with. And therefore, he is not going to commit basic grammatical errors. And you can even think yourself, a child learns language so easily. Why? Because he only has to pick up vocabulary words from his surrounding. He already knows the basic grammar unconsciously, subconsciously, but he just needs to pick up words for water, pick up words for fan, table, pen. That's it. And he is ready to make sentences. 
Noam Chomsky's theory of universal grammar is very important when it comes to UGC net English literature because linguistic, psychoanalytical criticism, they are integral part of English literature. There was a question which was asked in previous year related to universal grammar. I hope now you can understand the question and solve it correctly. There are many other concepts when it comes to linguistic, language learning, language acquisition. We cover all these concepts in detail in our online course. You can go to my website and under the section called online course content, you will find the list of important critics which you must not forget or skip when it comes to the preparation of UGC net English literature. So that's it for this video lecture. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I post videos every weekend to boost your exam preparation for UGC net English literature. Apart from that, if you like this video, do give it a big fan thumbs up. Comment below if you want me to make any other videos on any other topics. Very soon in the next video lecture, till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.